But when he tests me, for me, I got a Glock 9 that's eager to pop spies and try to save you and get a Doc's try. But I got him in the family room with your moms and your pops crying. I dare a nigga try to stop mine. It's gonna be shots flying. Cause I got niggas posted on every corner like stop signs. And I'm not lying. You have it, man. That was a nice little thing. You know, you got your moms crying. Uh, the Doc's trying. Um, it also another hot line, the A-Bird line. Um, I th everybody thought A-Bird was a real nigga until we found out his hair was from a different race. <laughs> like, I don't know why niggas be going in on A-Bird all the time, but... No! I don't know why niggas be going in on A-Bird all the time. Sorry, I gotta talk to niggas in the background yapping at me. But, uh, I don't know why niggas be going on A-Bird all the time, but, you know, obviously... Like, niggas feel like, I don't know if they just, they feel he a threat, they want to fuck with him, I don't know, he's just easy to pick on, some niggas just be an easy target, so maybe that's just him. I'm not going to even do round two, obviously, who is this nigga was developed in this battle, the way he broke that down was a classic round by Young Yield, just like easy, I don't give a fuck what Calico spit it in that round, like Young Yield killed him in round two, so... We might as well just move on to round three. Um, round three, I thought, uh, I thought they both was like, they both was saying, you know, young Calico saying shit like, how you gonna get past, uh, how you gonna get, how you gonna take this, how you gonna get past this, how you gonna get to the finals when you get can't get past the semi, like little shit like that was just okay. Um, I got shells flying over your, your waves. The seashell line was just kind of okay. Um, you know, there again, he kind of picking on a verb a little bit with the whole, you know, we got some low key beef shit. Da, 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 da. Um, as far as Young Ill, I can't remember much of what Young Ill even said in this battle without actually playing it. Because uh, he was just kind of, he was flowing in round three, but he was also just kind of chilling in round three. So, I thought round three, I know a lot of niggas, I'm looking at the comments, it's kind of funny because when you first watched this battle, niggas was giving this battle to Young Eel. I don't know if Calico just wasn't popular at the time, now more people lean towards Calico since he battled Mad Hoffa. They seeing them results, then they come back to this battle and they like, oh okay, Calico must be the truth. But, I look at this battle, this battle kind of ended as a tie to me, I thought they both were kind of weak in round two, I thought Eel... I thought Calico took round one, Ill took round two, and I thought round three was a tie. Calico was more consistent. I will give you that. But he's consistently average. You know what I'm saying? Like he this is what I was trying to explain earlier. Like all his rhymes sound the same. Sometimes it's cool. In order to be a good battle rapper, I said this shit in some other videos. You gotta have bars, obviously. You need to be funny too. You need to be able to, to, to kind of clown on your opponent but without overdoing the jokes but still be funny. You got to have good stage presence. Okay. Um, you need to be aggressive and you need to be uh, in freestyle if you can freestyle. Those, like, those are the top five things to be a battle rapper. Calico talks about the same subject content too much. Everything is killing you or shooting you that's it he don't talk about bitches he don't talk about i fuck your girl he don't like his content in a nine minute battle is just too much the same so yeah he's consistent but he's consistently kind of average i mean he's got a lot in that math hopper battle he was all over the place talking about a lot of different things he wasn't doing that here in this battle i mean just look at math hopper battle and come back to look at this battle this battle he's definitely very very vanilla and just every round every round sound the same so that's why I kind of look at it as like a tie because even though it's a little bit more consistent than Young Ill you know, is up and down but Calico he was just kind of average in this battle to me I thought Young Ill was average also with other other than round two there are no ties in unbiased review so if I gotta pick one I'm going with Young Ill and it's a real easy way to figure out why I think Young Ill is better Young Ill has two classic rounds. When I say classic, I mean going down in smack history. URL history. He got this one with the Who Is This Nigga. Classic. You can put that, you can put that shit up against any nigga and it would have killed him in that round. 
and that rich dollars round with the stanky Yankee fitted in round two. Maybe he the king of round two. I don't know. And that round two is another classic. Never to be outmatched. Never to be outdone. So the question is, is can Calico give you a classic round? He, he's not versatile enough. He only has a few of those five things you need to be a good bat. I think Ill got all of them. He don't always use it. The problem with Ill is he need to battle somebody he don't like. You know, he be battling Sue Serve, Big T. I mean, not Sue Serve, uh, Calico, DNA. Those are all mid-level tier battle rappers, as far as I'm concerned. You know, if he hit, if he got a rematch with Hollow the Don, if they went from Fight Club and, and rematched in URL. You may see the best young Ill you'll ever see. He'll really write really well to him. It's like almost like how Hitman was with Arsenal. Like you gotta almost feel like you just hate a nigga to write good to him. You know, when you battle somebody, when you hit man, you battle Hall of the Dawn, you come kind of weak because, like, there ain't really no real beef between y'all. So, yeah, you want to win, but it ain't like you, you don't, like, with Arsenal, he felt like he had the whole city on his back. Like, he had to win. So, that's my problem. But I think Young Yo is aggressive. Can't freestyle, though, but he's aggressive. He is funny. Got bars and he got stage presence. Like, he just command the stage more. He just say shit. Calico would never come up with a who is this nigga line. Like he's just not versus how enough like that. So to me, Young Ill took this 2-1. Really like a tie though, but there ain't no tie. So we'll give it to Young Ill because he had the best second round. Um, best round out of all six rounds. So that's what it is, man. Unbiased review. Your boy Chris checking in. Holla back.